Hey, it's Nathan with CrazyAdMarketing.com. In this video, we're talking about creating carousel ads in the Facebook or Meta Ads Manager. So let's go ahead and get straight into it. Now, I've already set up a campaign and ad set. And I have videos on campaign objectives and ad sets. And so if you need more info on that, links in the description down below. We'll get straight into the ad and we'll get into the ad setup right here. So for creative source, you can do manual upload or catalog in order to create a carousel ad. And in this particular video, I'm gonna go ahead and be doing a manual upload so that way we can create a custom carousel versus it pulling information from your catalog. Now there's some power to using a catalog if you have one of those set up and it makes creating carousel ads quite easy. But if you can understand how to do a manual upload, then catalog is you know a piece of cake. So we'll do manual upload, and then we need to select the carousel format right here. So I'll click this option. And then we go scroll on down to the ad creative. And we need to have at least two cards in order to create a carousel ad. And we can have upwards of 10 cards if we want to. So let's just get started and add some cards. So we can add image cards, video cards, or cards from pre previous ads. So if you have previous ads in your account, you could actually use those as part of your carousel. And I'm gonna start with the image card first. So I'm gonna click on this option here. And we can go ahead and use one of the images we've already uploaded, or you could go ahead and upload a new one if you need to. I'm just gonna go ahead and select this one right here and continue. And now I can go ahead and write out a headline and a description and website URL for this particular card right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill this in real quick. And so my first card is done. Let me go ahead and add another card so that way we can get this preview showing up. So I'm gonna add another image and I'll select this one right here and continue. And now I can see that my preview is showing up over here on the right hand side, so that is nice. Let me go ahead and add the headline description and URL to this one as well. So I'll go ahead and do a different headline. So this will be headline two and description two. And I could go ahead and link somewhere else if I want to with this particular card. So I'm gonna go ahead and link to a different page in my website. So now if somebody clicked on that card, they would go ahead and navigate to my YouTube page of my website. And you may notice that there's a third card as well, which is your social media profile image. So that pulls in automatically. And you could go ahead and change where this links to by scrolling on down here to the bottom. So under destination, so tell us where to send people immediately after they click or tap the last carousel card. So I could go ahead and add my link in here if I want to do that. Or you could have the last card load up at Instant Experience and I have a video on Instant Experiences. So if you're interested in learning more about them, link in the description down below. Now also you might not want that last card in your carousel. And so to get rid of it, we'll scroll up here a little bit and you should see Advantage Plus Creative. We can click on edit here and you see the option right here for profile end card. We could go ahead and turn that off. And now that last card that Facebook automatically loaded in for you will be removed. And since we're in the Advantage Plus Creative area right now, let's go ahead and address it. So there's a few options in here that you could go ahead and enable or disable. Like for example, relevant comments right here. So we will display the most relevant comment below your ad on Facebook and Instagram. So Facebook's algorithm will go ahead and figure out what the best comment is to show underneath your carousel ad. And if you turn this off, I'm not exactly sure which comment may show underneath your carousel ad. And I always leave this option turned on. There's also the option to add music. So in certain placements for your carousel ad, having a little bit of background music could be a good thing. And so Facebook will automatically add music to your ad. And if you want to, you can change music. So there's a whole library over here and you could listen to different songs. And if you want to use them, you could go ahead and turn off the automatically apply music. And then you can select which songs that you want to go ahead and test out. And you could just click this play button over here if you want to get a sample of what it sounds like. And if you have multiple selected, Facebook will test which one seems to give Give you the best results or it can just automatically apply music like that and Facebook's algorithm will work its magic I'm gonna go ahead and get back out of here we have highlight carousel card right here so we will automatically show the best performing card first so depending on how you're using your carousel cards you might be using them to tell a story like you have card one and then it leads into card two which leads into card three and so on so if you're trying to tell a story with your carousel cards you definitely want to turn this off otherwise it's going to rearrange the order of your cards. And so if you want them to stay in that order, you need to turn this off. But if you don't care about the order, then Facebook will put the top performing card at the front. So that way, hopefully more people will click through your card and take whatever action it is that you're trying to get the person to take. And then there's dynamic description as well. So we will dynamically choose when to show your carousel description. So basically they'll test your cards with and without descriptions and see which one converts the best. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on because maybe my description is not very good and they'll realize that my cards perform better without a description. So once I'm all happy and everything, 
I'll go over here and click on save. And now I'm gonna come over here and I should only see two cards, right? Since I turned off that third card. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add another card. So I'm gonna click add card. And this time I'm gonna add a video card. So you can have both images and videos in your carousel and you can have, you know, 10. So you could have five videos and five images if you want to, or 10 videos and zero images. Or you could have, you know, one video and two image cards. Just so that you have between two and 10 cards, it doesn't matter how many are images and how many are videos. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a video. And as you can tell by the carousel ad, the images here are square. So ideally, if you're using videos, you're gonna have a square video so that way th stuff doesn't get cut. Now my video's long, so some of it's gonna get cut off, but that's okay because it's just an example. Click on continue now. And if I scroll over my carousel, my third card should be my video right here. And I have the same options. I can go ahead and edit the headline and description and the link if I want to. And so there we go, there's my video card. Now let's say that I wanna go ahead and change the order of my cards. I'm gonna go ahead and just drag right here and I can just rearrange them like that. So I have my video as the front card and then maybe I can move the female to the middle. And so now my cards are in a different order. Now, of course, if I have on the highlight carousel card, then Facebook will automatically show the best performing card. So even though I put the video at the front there, if it doesn't perform well, then Facebook will rearrange my cards to put the best performing card at the front. So if I don't want them to do that, I would go ahead and turn this off. So that way my video stays as the first card. So I'll click on save. Now you may notice there's the option to edit placement and we're gonna come back to it in just a second here. Let's talk about primary text as well as the call to action button. So the primary text is the text that's going to go above your ad. So I've got some copy right here. This is the primary text area. And you'll notice that the primary text stays the same no matter what card they're on. So that text is always gonna be sitting there above the card. So you wanna make sure that it kind of leads into the carousel images and videos that they're gonna going to be seeing. And you could go ahead and write upwards of five primary text and Facebook will automatically test which one converts the best. So you can try out a few different variations. Also, Facebook will automatically write some suggested text variations for you. Now, whether they make sense or not is a whole other story, but if you wanted to try one of their variations, you can just click this little plus button right here and you can see that it added that variation for you. And you can add multiple text by clicking this add text button right there. So anyway, I'm gonna close out of there. And then we have our call to action button. So you can see that it says learn more right there. You can go ahead and change it to whatever seems relevant to you. Now this button will show up on all the cards as well. So you can't have a unique call to action button per each card. Each card will have the same call to action button and learn more is usually a good one. So let's come back up here to the edit placement and select a placement to edit. So you can go ahead and edit all the different placements that your carousel ad will show. And you can have unique cards for the different placements. So let's go ahead and look at the storage one real quick. And, and it's throwing an error saying that I have to remove my multiple text options. So if you're gonna customize each individual location, you can't have multiple primary text. So that's just one thing to note. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the text options. So this is what my carousel ad will look like in Instagram stories. So we start off with the video here and you can see that I could go ahead and actually change this video out. So I could select a different video for my Instagram stories placement if I want to and have a unique video just for Instagram stories. I could go ahead and select a thumbnail if I want to. So right now it's automatically generating a thumbnail for me, but I could go ahead and manually select a thumbnail. So like a screen grab for my video, or I could go ahead and upload my own custom thumbnail if that's something I wanna do. I'll just leave it automatic because there's only so much time I wanna spend creating thumbnails and stuff like that. I could also go ahead and set custom text for each placement. So for Instagram stories, I see that it says learn about sales funnels right down here and it's kind of covering up the button. So I might actually wanna remove my headline text so that way it's just the learn more button right there. And I'm not writing over my call to action button. And destination, I could have a custom destination for this particular card within Instagram stories as well. And same concept with my other cards as well. So I could go ahead and change out my image if I wanted to do that. Maybe I wanna use this image instead and I could go ahead and change the headline and the destination of this particular card and save. So now 14 placements would all look the same and my Instagram stories one is now customized. I have a different second image for Instagram stories. And so you can make sure that your carousel ad is going to look good in all the different placements by going you know, one by one if you want to. Or you can always come over here and see how it'll look in the different placements and make sure that it'll function like you think it will. So this looks okay. Maybe my images should be a little bit longer for the Instagram profile feed like this. 
And you can click on advanced preview right here to see Those all of the placements. And it started playing is. the audio oh, from my video. Funnel. So I'm going to get out of here. Automatically grow your business but this can be a great place to go in order to see all your ads in one place and make sure that they look good. And if you need to go ahead and adjust anything by editing the individual placements. So I just wanted to point that out real quick. And when you're ready to go live with it, you can click the publish button in the bottom right hand corner. And I think that's it. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, I appreciate it. Sorts of likes, comments, subscribes, and or check out crazymarketing.com. And I hope you have a great rest of the day.